Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to interface MCP9808 with Raspberry Pi. Let's first take a look about the device. Uh, let's go to controleverything.com and here let's see the device first. Uh, it's MCP9808. Yeah. So it's a temperature sensor and uh, it's a high rec accuracy sensor. Now it has got a programmable uh, temperature alert output which we'll discuss later and uh, basically we're going to use the sensor with the Pi and uh, the code for the sensor, the Python code for the sensor is available on controleverything.com under the resources section. Here's the code. Well you can find the code on uh, our github repository also which is the control everything community. Now let's make the connections and see how it works. This is the Raspberry Pi module and as you can see these are the GPIOs on Raspberry Pi module. And now this is the I2C adapter. You can buy this I2C adapter from controleverything.com and the reason why we are using this I2C adapter is that it makes the connections with other I2C devices and sensors easy. Now Install this I2C adapter by gently pushing it onto the GPIOs of the Raspberry Pi module. Now this is the MCP9808 module and this is the I2C cable. Please make sure while making connections that the ground is connected to the brown of the cable and similarly the ground is connected to the brown of the cable of I2C header. To power up the Raspberry Pi, we have the micro USB cable and we insert it in the Raspberry Pi right here. This is the LAN cable we require to provide internet connection to the Raspberry Pi. Please connect this LAN cable to the Ethernet jack of Raspberry Pi. If you do not have a LAN cable, you may also use a Wi-Fi module. These are the connections we require for this project. Now let's proceed to the code. Now uh, let's interface the sensor with our Raspberry Pi. Let's take a look at the code first. Uh, let's go to GitHub. Here in GitHub you need to search control everything community. Yeah, this is control everything community. Inside control everything community search for MCP9808 and in MCP9808 let's first understand how to run the Python code. Here in the instructions as you can see you need to install the SMBus library to run a Python code. Now to install a SMBus library you need to follow the instructions given in this link and then after you've installed the SMBus library when you're running the code, you need to give the command. This is the command that you have to give. And let's see the code now under Python. And here, uh, first uh, we need to import the SMBus library and then the device address, which is 18 operation uh, register, which is 0x01. To power up this device, you need to write 0x0000. This is how you write it. And then you need to set the resolution. Now the resolution is supposed to be plus 0 0.0625. And it is required that you need to uh, actually set the resolution in the resolution register which is 0x08. Now, Let's read the data. The data uh, will be in two bytes and uh, you need to read it in the form of a block. And then let's convert the data. Now the conversion is based on the formula given in the data sheet. This is how you convert the data. And the data will be output in the form of Celsius and Fahrenheit. Uh, this is how you output the data. Now let's see how it works. Now let's proceed further. First of all, 
copy the code and move to terminal. Now create a file with .py extension and paste the code. Save the code and now run the code as the command says. Now this is the temperature output. When I am pressing my finger on the code, the temperature changes. Similarly, if I do that again, it changes again. This is how the code works. Now that we have seen the working of MCP9808, let's take a deeper look inside the sensor. This sensor finds its use in various industrial applications like industrial refrigerators and freezers. And it is also used in various commercial and consumer electronics like PCs and uh, computing devices. For any kind of doubts and queries, you can ask us on our contact us page on controleverything.com. And you can even leave your comments on our community page on Control Everything. If you want to watch our video tutorials, you can even check out our hackster.io page. And you can even check out more on instructables.com. You can even subscribe to our page on YouTube. And at the end, thanks for watching.